Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Hey Big Grill. Now tonight we're gonna stay here in the kitchen. We're gonna make us some good old potato soup. Let's get started. Now folks, I don't know about where y'all are from, but this week the weather's starting to cool back off. We got some snow flurries, uh, chances rather. So this potato soup is gonna be a great recipe to kind of warm the body back up after a good cold day out there working. So. All right, so I've got six large potatoes here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel these, get them washed up, and then cut them up. All right, now we've got our potatoes nice and peeled. Let's start cutting them into little one inch pieces, chunks rather. I always like to go like this way. about like so and once I got get done cutting them up I'm just gonna put them in a bowl all right now that we got our potatoes cut up we're gonna dice up one onion now for the onion here I'm gonna make life a little easier on myself and use the processor this just dices it up so much finer than I possibly could all right next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take six strips of bacon now this was the cheap bacon cheapest thing they had on the shelf because this is what we're gonna do with it next we're gonna take it we're gonna cut it up into little chunks. About like so. All right, next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna take those pieces of bacon. We're just gonna drop them down into our Dutch oven. Now I've not turned my Dutch oven on just yet, but first we're gonna get all of our bacon down in here. All right, folks, so we got all of our bacon in here. We're gonna turn our burner to a medium heat. Now if you look, that bacon's kind of lined in on top of each other, but that's fine. We're gonna continue to work that around. And we didn't put any kind of oil in here because we're gonna rely on that bacon to give us some good fat, some good grease. Now as my bacon cooks, the pieces, as they get ready, let me find one. We're just gonna take them out and set them on a plate. And we're gonna leave these set aside until later on in the cook. All right, now that we got our bacon out, we're gonna add that one onion. And we're gonna drop three tablespoons of butter in there as well. And we're gonna cook this until our onion gets nice and soft and tender. Maybe about five minutes or so. We're leaving it at that medium heat. So our onion's broken down. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of minced garlic or three cloves of garlic. And we're gonna stir this around and we're only leaving it in here until it becomes really fragrant. Only about 30 seconds or so. Next, we're gonna add two cups of milk those diced potatoes. And we're gonna add four cups of chicken broth. Followed by two thirds cup of heavy whipping cream. One and a half teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. About half a teaspoon of chili powder. Now we're gonna stir this all in together, get it nice and mixed in together, and blended. We're still maintaining that medium heat. We're gonna bring this to a boil. It's starting to get a little low rumbling boil, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it to try to trap as much heat as possible. The directions did not say to add heat, so or put the lid on it rather, so we're just gonna keep checking in on it periodically. All right, folks, so we've just gotten our potatoes pretty good and soft. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a scoop at a time and fill up this Black & Decker blender here and we're gonna puree it's kind of a fun word to say but we're gonna puree this soup all right so now we got it in our blender we'll turn it on we're just gonna start pulsing now with this one it kind of from the bottom and it pulls it down right so we're gonna blend this up till it's a nice creamy consistency then what we're gonna do we're just gonna pour that back into our pot or Dutch oven rather. And I'm gonna keep working through this until I get all them potatoes out. And I'm gonna keep pureeing it. Right, folks, now I did forget to mention, once you got your potatoes like uh, soft enough where you can poke them with a fork, then you kick your heat down a low and then start doing your pureeing. Uh, but now I'm gonna add two thirds cup of sour cream 
into the Dutch oven. And then we're gonna add that bacon in there that we cooked earlier. Sorry, I got a little potato soup on it. And then we're gonna give that all a good stirring, mix that sour cream in well with our bacon. All right, folks, so we've got our bacon in there. We've got our sour cream in there. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back with just a little bit. Put me a little sour cream right there on the top. I'm gonna follow that up by sprinkling me in a little bit of shredded cheese right here along the top. Nice and pretty. All right, we're gonna give it a good little mix in here so there's sour cream and cheese in every bite. There we go with that all important taste test. Now, I must confess, I did sample a little bit of it a while ago, it dripped down when I was pureeing it, and uh, it's really dang good. But here we go. <laughs> Folks, that is good. Uh, now it did, it was a little bit longer cook uh, than I like to do during the week, but the end result's well worth it. Uh, the potatoes cooking down is what took the longest. I feel like if I had cut them down a little bit smaller, maybe it would have cooked down a little faster, but all in all, very good recipe. It's thick, creamy, filling, uh, warm, perfect for that cold day. Uh, very good recipe, super simple, a little more time consuming, but again, well worth it. So y'all please, let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.